Is it a great time to be a sports fan in Kansas City or what? Sporting Kansas City beat the New York Red Bulls 2-1 to one at Children's Mercy Park, winning the U.S. Open Cup, the fourth time sporting has lifted the U.S. Open Cup trophy. Pitchers equipment. This ball is drilled to right. Moustakas has just set the Royals record for home runs. That's his first home and, run. And oh, hey, America, did you see this? The Royals' third baseman, Mike Moustakas, hit his 37th home run of the season last night, setting a franchise record, finally breaking Steve Balboni's record of 36 home runs way back in the golden age of 1985. And your Kansas City Chiefs are 2-0 for the season. So happy Thursday. We are celebrating here on Better Kansas City. We're also celebrating this morning with cheese. Yes, not wine, not beer, but cheese. It's the second greatest food on earth. There is a cheese truck outside the studio right now. And we have a healthy twist on a pina colada. But first, we have oh so lovely blogger Audrey Keither here in the Price Chopper kitchen to show us how to make a fantastic wreath for the fall. Yes, tis the season. This is great. And I love the colors that you picked because they're not your typical fall colors. You yeah, kind of some jewel and tones. Blues and yellows and greens. It's great. Purples. Yeah, and I, I did mine base. I want to put mine on my front door. So I actually painted this canvas the exact paint of my front door just to show how it kind of looks on turquoise. Oh, so that's yeah, nice. if you kind of want to plan out what color you're going to put it on. So. The supply list is very simple. Yeah, it really is. Um, really, you just go to your favorite craft store and get whatever kind of wreath you like. I really like this grapevine kind of, uh -huh. kind of more. It's kind of bigger. And then you can also do a smaller one. And, and grapevine wreaths are. Perfect. Yeah, they work for anything. Yeah, it looks it looks really good for mm -hmm. fall. So super easy. You get a few um, eight by you know, letter size sheets of felt, and then you can. Um, what I did is you can draw a little template and then draw it on and then cut them out, mm -hmm. or you can just do it by hand like I did. So basically, and your kid can help you do it. Yeah, super easy. Actually, Vivi did help me do. This Vivian helped yeah, you. Yeah, Vivi did. Aww. How old is your daughter? She's Vivian? four. Loves so to help with the craft daughter projects. Helped you cut mm -hmm. these out and make yeah. these. Yeah, Inter that's sweet. good entertaining project. So you'll want to cut out, for this wreath I did about, I don't know, 40 or 50. Okay. For a smaller one, you probably need 20 or 30. So okay. you, I went ahead and did all mine in one stage. I, I cut them, the first one. So you can either put them on flat, or if you want to kind of make them a little bit more leaf looking, 